now solve question number 1B from our examination of May 2024. This is inventory question, joint product and by product. There are two joint products, one by product and one scrap. Very similar to the question that we have done in our class notes. In our class notes, if you open it is question number 2.12. Am I right? 2.12. Can anyone help me with the page number? This question is uh, two point uh, twelve point two from page number one twenty of our material. Same question is there in our similar question is there in our material. Page number one twenty. This is the question. This is examination question in November two thousand twelve. We have covered it in class, a very similar question with different numbers has been asked in the examination. So let us solve it. This is the question and there we go, we will now solve the answer. Well, we are limited is a textile manufacturing company and engaged in manufacture of three items, polyester and nylon. Polyester and nylon both are main products or what we call joint products. While the manufacturing of the main product, by product fiber is also produced. By product fiber, we will value it at net realizable value that is selling price minus selling expense. That NRV will be deducted from the cost of production of joint product before allocating it. So, from the common joint product, joint cost, we will deduct the NRV of the by product. The remaining joint cost will be allocated between both polyester and nylon in the ratio of sales value, not sales unit, not sales rupees. Sales units multiplied by sales rupees will get sales value. We will find a ratio or we will take that itself as ratio and in that ratio we will split it. So, how many units of raw material is consumed? 30,000 units, 350,000 rupees. So, I will identify my joint cost. In that I will take raw material cost to be 350,000 rupees. The next cost that I have after raw material is wages paid. How much of wages is paid? Wages paid to the extent of 160 will also be added into my joint cost. That is also part of our joint cost, 160. After wages of 160, what I have next is fixed overhead. We are assuming that there is no problem with actual and normal production. Actual output, normal output, let us say both are matching. We have to make that assumption. So, we are assuming here that actual output and normal output both are matching and there is no amount of fixed overhead which is supposed to be transferred to PNL. There is no amount of it. Why? Such data is not given for us to compute. So, I will take entire 120 of fixed overhead into my joint cost. After that, I have with me variable overhead. This is anyways taken into the production cost. I will take 60,000 of variable overhead also. This is joint cost before deduction of NRV of byproduct and before elimination of scrap. I cannot allocate this to both the joint products. What I will allocate is after elimination of byproduct NRV and after elimination of scrap value. How much is 350 plus 160 plus 120 plus 60? 6 lakh 90 thousand. From this, come on, let us deduct NRV of byproduct that is fiber. NRV of byproduct is not given. They have given sale value and they have also given us the uh, net realizable value computation selling expenses. We will take the sale value and deduct the selling expenses to determine NRV. How much is sale value of that? See, polyester output, sorry, fiber output is 3200 units. How much is the output? And each unit is sold at the cost of how much? Average market price polyester and nylon 160. That is used for identifying our sales ratio along with the units produced L multiply. Fiber at 40. So, each unit of fiber is sold at what rate? 40. I will multiply how many units of fiber? 3200 units of fiber with 20, 40 rupees per unit. That gives me 1,28,000. From this, I will deduct the cost that I am incurring. What is the cost that I am incurring for this? There is a profit of 8000. This is an irrelevant piece of information. Then the sale of the product after incurring separate processing expenses of 10,000. This separate processing expense of 10,000 and packaging charges of 9,000 is expense incurred to sell the byproduct. I will deduct it from this 1,28,000. I will write separate processing charges 10,000 and I will also write the next expense. What is the next expense? My packaging charges of 9,000. 128 minus 10 minus 9. 1 lakh 9000 is the NRV of my product. This 1 lakh 9000, I will deduct it from the joint cost. This is not the only item. Exactly like the question that we did in the class from 12.2 12 point, 12 point of our material, we have one more item called as scrap value. How much is sale of scrap in this particular question? 
5000. I will deduct 5000 as pain of 1. After I deduct that, I will get joint cost of 5,76,000. 6,90 minus 1,9 minus 1. This 5,76,000 has to be allocated between polyester and nylon. How do I allocate on the basis of their sales value? How do I find it? Observe. Polyester output is 12,500. Nylon output is 10,000. And their selling price is how much? For 160. I will do 12,500 into 100 and 10,000 into 60. By doing this, I get sales value. I will identify ratio of that sales value. Observe. Units produced, 12,500 and 10,000. Selling price per unit is 160. How much is sales value? Sales value, 12,500 into 100. 1 lakh 50. 10,000 into 60. 6 lakh. I should find the ratio of this. I will eliminate those four zeros on both sides. 125 into uh, 125 and uh, 60. If I further process it by dividing by 5, I will arrive at 25 is to 12. We cannot process further because 25 and 12 doesn't go by same number. We can keep 25 by 37, 12 by 37 as ratio. If you don't want to do, take 12 lakh 50 plus 6 lakh, 18 lakh 50 itself as ratio. Do 12 lakh 50 by 18 lakh 50, 6 lakh by 18 lakh 50, absolutely okay. Absolutely okay. How much is joint cost? 5 lakh 76,000. Let me allocate this 5 lakh 76,000 in the ratio 25 is to 12. 5 lakh 76 divided into 25 divided by 37. Uh, sorry, 6 lakh 64 as my God. 5 lakh, 5 lakh 76. I will do 5 lakh 76,000 multiplied by 25 divided by 37. Correct? Huh? Similarly, I will do 5 lakh 20, 76,000 multiplied by 12 divided by 37. What do we get? 3 lakh. Let me write here 3 lakh. 89,189 and 1,86,811. So, this is the joint cost after apportionment to polyester and nylon. After I allocate it to both of these products, I cannot record them at this price. No, this is the cost for units produced. Closing is not the entire production. Certain units are sold. Let me identify the cost per product. Let me identify the cost per product. How many units were produced? 12,500. I'll, I'll divide 389, 189. 3 lakh 89,189 by uh, 12,500 units. Similarly, I'll divide 1 lakh 86,000. 1 lakh 86,811. I'll divide it by how many units? 10,000 units. When I divide them, what do I get as cost per unit? 31.14 and 18.68. How many units of this closing stock is remaining with me? What is remaining with me is 1600 and 400. I will take 1600 here, 1400 here. I will multiply 31.14 with 1600 to arrive at my closing inventory. I will write 1600 units into 31.14 and similarly I will write 400 multiplied by 18.68. This will give me inventory value of 49,816 and 7,472. This is the value of inventory that I should be disclosing in my desktop account and it will be considered in computation of sales price. If you want the entire answer in one go, first, this is our joint cost computation. This is our estimated NRV of fiber computation. This is our joint product cost allocation along with identification of value of each of the joint product. This has been asked in our examination for 7 marks for no reason. 